In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a better way to play Tesla, which is Yield Max's covered call fund on Tesla that has about a 60% dividend. I'm gonna share with you how I'm playing Tesla so that I get the maximum performance possible and the same income uh, potential. So we earn over 100,000 per year in dividends at this channel, okay? And my performance value shows that we're up 31% for the year, okay? 31% whereas the NASDAQ's up 28%. So we're beating all the indexes still on a year-to-date basis. And on a daily basis, we're at 1.10%, which is about in line with the indexes, as you can see above. So this might be a boring intro, but the numbers speak for themselves, I think. And we're on a journey here at this channel to live financially free out of our brokerage accounts. I give you my portfolio to track daily as a model for success. And when I'm not on uh, YouTube making videos, you can track my portfolio daily on Discord, where we have about 500 members here who can share their daily market experiences with you. Uh, where's my portfolio channel? Here it is, okay? Daily portfolio recap. And uh, so you can track my portfolio here as a model for success um, to living financially free out of your brokerage account if you like. Um, also, when you buy all of my e-guides, uh, you get free access to Discord for life, okay? So I have you guys on how to play Cornerstone and how to use margin to live financially free out of your brokerage accounts. Okay, Cornerstone, as you can see in my account, all right, Cornerstone, I have about 500000 in it. And this is obviously the Cornerstone, no pun intended, of my portfolio. And this is how I'm getting such good performance, okay? But uh, for the purposes of today's video, we're going to be discussing Tesla because Tesla is how I get... Uh, a lot of the income that you're seeing. I mean, obviously it has a 60% dividend. So um, how am I playing Tesla on the way back up as the market tries to find a potential bottom here? Because we've showed you in past uh, videos that Tesla, just like the market, is on the 200-day moving average. And this is a very significant spot, okay? So if we go to the Tesla chart, which this did not take us to, but TSLA, okay? We go to the Tesla chart, you'll see that it's on the 200-day moving average, which is the all-important moving average for both long-term investors and short-term traders, okay? So as we go into this chart, you'll see that Tesla is coming off of that black line. We almost tagged that black line. We had a hammer between the purple and black line, which is the all-important 200-day moving average. Carbon Zero, you just saw his drop-down alert on my phone just now. He uh, specializes uh, in charts and technical trading in the Discord chat room if you ever need more help understanding these charts. I also have a Volume 2 e-guide on how to use technicals all right, to live financially free out of your brokerage account. Okay, you have to understand technicals, in my opinion, charts so that you can get the best entry points on our passive income dividend plays. All right, so Tesla is looking good on the chart, so I want to own Tesla. But the problem with Tesla is that the upside is capped. As you know, Tesla has um, uh, decay, uh, it has capped upside since it sells uh, cover calls, well, synthetic calls. So uh, you don't have to know what Tesla does. I mean, if you want to know what it does, go see my past videos. Um, but as you can see here, uh, it's experiencing a lot of um, decay uh, because, um, well, when the stock moves back up, it's going to, you know, have its upside cap since it sells calls, uh, you know, uh, about 5 to 15 percent away from the current price. All right. So that's the kind of upside that you can expect in Tesla. And then the rest of your upside comes from dividends. All right. Now, a lot of people are seeing a lot of downward pressure in their portfolios recently because they own a lot of Tesla. Yes, it's a stock and it can fall huge, unlike an index, which falls small. That's why Cornerstone is my largest holding. OK, so what I've done to because um, Cornerstone is the indexes, by the way, guys, Cornerstone, CLM, CRF, CLM uh, for all you newcomers at the channel, CRF and CLM. CRF is a four star fund. OK, and it beats the indexes, as you can see below. OK, it beats all the indexes. All right. So Cornerstone is the indexes and it beats the indexes. <clears throat> so this is why I have 500,000 in it, because uh, not only that, but it also has 20 percent dividend. OK, and uh, once again, I know that there may be newcomers here at the channel. So I have to say uh, the drip price here is 788, as you can see. All right, but the NAV price is down here at six. So 651, 21% gain, 691, 14% gain. Pick, take your pick, 676, 16% gain. Okay, this, this is all free money on top of our dividends, 
each month. So we get 20% dividends in Cornerstone and they both drip at the NAV. So you get drip gains, dividend gains, and days gains. So we made about uh, 5,000 alone in Cornerstone on Friday. Sorry for moving around fast on my phone. I'm making this video on my phone, living freely. Okay, I'm not using YouTube as a job. Okay, I make videos wherever I want, whenever I can. I apologize. So Cornerstone, that's why I have so much in it, but you have to learn how to play it. Uh, you have to uh, play it around its rights offerings and you have to ask for the special drip. When you buy my e-guides, especially volume four, how to play Cornerstone, I alert you of the rights offering in the Discord chat, okay? And I think most of the members there will alert you of the rights offering anyway, if I don't. Okay, we're all on top of this rights offering for Cornerstone. We understand it's the most important thing to focus on. So uh, I took the proceeds from Tesla. I had 10K in Tesla and I, and I got it down to 3K, as you can see. And I put uh, about 2K into Cornerstone because Cornerstone has lower maintenance. All right, Cornerstone, a 30% maintenance fund. In uh, case you, you don't know, uh, if you're a newcomer at this channel, maintenance is everything. If you want to live financially free out of your brokerage account, you have to have low maintenance funds. You see the snapshot here of Cornerstone? Okay, 30% maintenance, 30%. All right. And um, you know, Tesla, on the other hand, has a 50% maintenance requirement. Okay, that means that it's a problem. Okay, if you're trying to live financially free of your brokerage account, 50%. So uh, if you need help understanding maintenance, that's in my margin e-guide, volume three. But maintenance uh, means that if it's high, uh, it takes up a lot of our equity and then we can't withdraw out of our account. Even when you're not using margin to get ahead, okay? You need to have your available withdrawal high at all times. It, withstand, it helps you withstand market corrections so I can withstand over 30% correction in my account without getting in a margin call. Also, the dividends from Cornerstone, 20% dividends offset that market correction. But you also need to have high available withdrawal in case you just want to spend out of your account. Okay, Some people don't want to trade on margin, but they like to use their margin, which I d use down here, 200 grand worth of margin. I have it down to about 175 right now. Um, this is low interest margin, okay, low interest debt, okay, it doesn't show up on a credit check, okay, 6% interest, I negotiated down. Many of my members have negotiated theirs down too. So uh, you can click sell at any time and this debt is gone. My dividends of 150 grand will pay back this debt in less than two years. And then all these dividend paying assets will be left to myself, paying me monthly cash flow for life that pays me qualifying income to banks for life. So qualifying income helps you get loans and helps you level up in your brokerage account, okay, and you don't need a nine to five anymore. You can just use the loans to qualify for a house, qualify for a car, or to get a personal loan to make more money in your account. So uh, you need to have low maintenance names to do this, okay? Low maintenance is everything. And again, that's in my margin e-guide volume three if you need help with that. So even when you're not using margin, keep maintenance in mind because maintenance not only takes up your equity if it's 50% maintenance, but it also implies that there's more risk, okay? Maintenance uh, shows you the risk as well as how much equity it's gonna take. So you can control your whole financial future if you understand maintenance and your downside potential. In a stock, you might have unlimited downside, but for an index, you usually fall 20 to 30% in a year, in a bad year. So I switched most of my uh, money from Tesla to, from Tesla to QQQY and Cornerstone. QQQY because it has a 60% dividend like Tesla. So that's how I kept my yield the same. So QQQY will be safer than Tesla. It's an index and it's the same yield. So it was a no-brainer. Also, QQQY is 50% maintenance as well. So I, I kept my equity the same to do this, but I got safer moving into the indexes. I've made videos on this already about defiance funds. This is nothing new. What I'm saying is, is that I put a portion of that money into Cornerstone that has low maintenance as well and high a high yield, almost 19% yield right here. 21% is where the drip comes down at every month. So I put my money into those. So I kept my income the same, all right, re relatively the same. And then I also lowered my maintenance because, because Cornerstone is lower maintenance than Tesla. So that made my available withdrawal rise, all right? And then I took those proceeds, okay? And uh, not only did I buy those uh, funds, I told you, Cornerstone and the Defiance funds. But now, okay, I, I, I'm switching subjects in the video, okay? We're gonna switch gears here. And uh, this is where I sold puts on ARKK. So ARKK, this is how I'm playing Tesla to get that performance, guys. Tesla is, is ARKK's uh, largest holding. If we go to ARKK on the chart, well, you'll see that uh, Tesla is 10% of its holdings, okay? Portfolio, you'll see Tesla right here, 10%, okay? Uh, Tesla at the top. 
10.8%, almost 11%. So this is an indirect way to play Tesla, guys, in my opinion. Also, it has Bitcoin. Look at how much Kony was in there. It has uh, you know, Coinbase in there. It has 8% Coinbase. So a lot of the yield max funds are either in Fangu, which we've discussed in past videos, or in these ARK funds, okay? So, I mean, at least two of them, at least two large holdings, Tesla and Coinbase, are in these ARK funds. So, yes, I've been buying OARC because that has a lot of our uh, income that, that we get our in – it has a lot of our index exposure for small caps and – uh, it gives us good income, but it also has upside cap because it sells synthetic calls. All these covered call funds do that. So I sold the put on ARKK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell one more put on ARKK on Monday because look, I got $10. I got $1,000 for selling this put. So for $50 at ARKK, I sold the put $10 on that. My cost base is now $40. So we're not even down much on ARKK, but look at what the puts have gone up to. They're up. They're worth fourteen dollars now. Okay, fourteen dollars. That means about fifteen hundred dollars you can get for selling a put on ARKK. So your cost position would be around thirty-five dollars, fifty dollars strike. Okay, minus four, fifteen dollars roughly, and that gives you thirty-five dollar cost basis roughly, and that's lower than the stock price, I believe. Where were we just at when I checked the ARK uh, stock price? Where was it? It was at. Um, let's see. It was at. 39. So we would have our, our cost basis would be $4 lower than the market price. And if the market goes higher and ARK goes higher, we get upside exposure because we sold the puts on ARK, ARKK. This is how we're going to get indirect Tesla exposure. Okay. So I have one more piece of the puzzle to fit in so we don't make the video too long. The next thing that you do here, okay, this is like a, a, a jigsaw puzzle or a, a scavenger hunt to uh, maximizing your performance, I realize. But so, but stick with me because I think you're going to like it. First, we sold most of Tesla. We still kept some Tesla exposure. We put it into Cornerstone for the maintenance and for the high yield and for the index exposure. And we put it into Defiance Funds for the same maintenance and uh, uh, more index exposure as well and the same income. Then we sold puts on ARKK because Tesla is a large part of ARKK. So we get indirect exposure to OARC and uh, Tesla through selling these puts on ARKK. We're going to go up in performance if the market goes up with it and, A and ARKK goes up. Now, we've raised $1,500 from this, correct? Okay, so we lowered our margin by $1,500. So on Monday, you'll see my margin debt go down from $175.7 to about $174. All right, and with those proceeds... I'm going to buy a thousand more of tes either Tesla, the stock, or in my situation, I'll buy Fangu because uh, I think that that has more beta and safety. We've talked about that in past funds, uh, past videos, has more beta and more diversified uh, safety. Or you could buy even more Tesla. Uh, on the dip. So you could take the proceeds from ARKK, the premium proceeds, and buy more Tesla, okay, and increase your income further. Do whatever you want with the proceeds after that, okay? I'm, I'm going to probably uh, leave my debt the same, uh, lower it, and just I'm going to use the margin, the premiums from ARK to lower my margin and just leave it at that. Maybe I'll use $1,000. I always keep my debt at 175 I like keeping it there. I like keeping it high. It pays me to have margin debt on. It's more than my interest, so why not keep leverage on? As long as it's indexed, okay, uh, and, and as long as my dividends are paying it back, then I might buy a thousand of something else, whatever falls in the account. Okay. I just take whatever weakness we get next week and I use the proceeds from the premiums to, to DCA or dollar cost average and some, something else in the portfolio. So I hope you like this video guys. Okay. If you need any help, uh, doing what I do in my account, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. I have four e-guides, volume one, fundamental analysis, volume two, technical analysis, volume three, how to use margin to live financially free out of your brokerage account. Volume 4, how to play Cornerstone properly. When you buy all of my e-guides, you get free access to Discord for life and my phone number for life. So if you like the video, click like or subscribe if you would. And uh, also leave comments in the section below if you have any other ideas on how to play Tesla better for more performance. And I'll talk to you soon, guys. Thanks.